At the rear of the floor pan, just in front of the leaf spring pocket, measure inward 6 and 7 eighths of an inch and mark the floor. Make another mark 3 inches inside of that one. Now move to the front of the floor pan and mark 6 and 3 quarters of an inch inward from the pinch weld at the rear front seat bracket. Mark 3 inches inside of this mark also. Now connect these marks front to back using a straight edge. These will be your inner and outer cut lines. Cut out the template provided and fit it to the rear frame rail area as shown. The square end of the template should coincide with the inner and outer cut line. Now transfer the cut lines around the profile of the rear front seat bracket. The front side of this bracket will be the forward cut line. Now begin cutting out the area outlined with a cutoff wheel. Mark the floor pan on the inside of the car and cut the upper layer of the floor pan as needed. Now, test fit the connector by inserting the slotted end in first. Clamp the connector in position. Trim the floor pan as necessary so that the connector body is aligned with the rear of the subframe. Test fit the inner and outer brackets and modify them if necessary. After removing the connector from the car, weld the end cap to the connector body. Install the connector once again. Align the inside and outside brackets and clamp them in place. Plug weld the brackets to the connector body. Remove the connector and weld the perimeter of the inside and outside brackets to the connector body.
Once the welding is completed, metal finish the connector if desired. Now prep the vehicle's floor pan for the subframe connector installation. Clamp the connector in place and begin welding it to the floor pan. Do not weld continuously in one area as this will overheat the panel and cause it to warp. Finish by welding the inner and outer brackets to the subframe. Grind the welds and paint the exposed metal to protect it from corrosion. 